Hey, what's up, guys? This is Poopy Kens. I'm on Inspire Nation on Mixer, and this is my first tutorial like this, so I know it's a little bit rough, so bear with me. I think it gets the job done, though. I'm going to show you how to change the name of Scottybot in your stream to a custom name, whatever you like. So, um, let's get logged into your Mixer account and then open a new tab on your browser and go to scottybot.net. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go down to Let's Go. Click Let's Go. And then it will bring up a pop up window to authorize Scottybot to your Mixer account. If you're not signed into Mixer, it will just make you have the option to sign into Mixer. But since we're already signed in, it's just loading up the authorization page. And then you are going to click Approve. Since I'm already uh, logged in, success. There you go. So now, I mean, I already have it, but it'll uh, automatically make Scottybot now your moderator. Make sure he's a mod. So click Scottybot. Mine's already a mod. Uh, now I'm going to type uh, da, uh, exclamation point commands. You see Scottybot responded to that showing the commands for the stream which I will click and then it shows the stream commands that I have active repeating commands okay so it's saying Scotty bot so we want to change this to be barbecue chicken so when he welcomes people to the room or says the repeating commands it will say barbecue chicken instead of Scotty bot so next we go down back to Scotty Pot page, download the GUI, and right here, Windows Installer, click that. Once it downloads, run the program. Um, it'll probably need some updates, and once you get that done, run your Scotty Bot. He's a slow little bastard. There you go. Okay, so we have Welcome Inspire Nation. I'm already logged in. Go to Control Panel. And then you come to the main page on the GUI. It'll show the repeating commands on the first page, but we want to go to all the way on the right, third one down, Configuration. And then go to the tabs, uh, fourth tab over, settings, click settings. Down on the left side, it will say set custom bot username password. Click that. And then click OK. Okay, so this is where you would create a new mixer profile with the name that you want to appear as your new bot. So I created mine to say barbecue chicken. And um, then when you get this, if you're not logged in as barbecue chicken, if this is my other one, you click not you. And then you log in as your new mixer profile that you wanted to be the name. So I'm just gonna pretend like I was logged in as something else, and now I'm logging in as the one I want. Oh, shit. I forgot to add. Oops. And then password. So now I'm logging in as Barbecue Chicken, the profile I just made. You click Approve. Generated successfully, and you just heard that little beep. That means he popped into my chat. Let's go check out Mixer. 
And it says right here, barbecue chicken, I have returned. By the way, your mom said hi. And we'll click commands this time. And instead of Scotty Bot, it's barbecue chicken saying it. So now when your bot welcomes people to the room, it will be your new bot name that you just created. Make, just make sure he's a mod. It will help with any possible glitches. He's already mod. Everything's good. And um, yeah, that's it. If you want a tutorial on how to do anything else like setting your welcome message or custom repeating messages, uh, let me know and I'll be happy to make one for you.